Rustam Kabilov. If you're a hardcore fan, you've seen him fight, but uh, I'm sure the public doesn't really know about Rustam. Anyway, you know, he's getting a big fight in Albuquerque, New Mexico, versus the ex-champion, Benson Henderson. So these two guys are going to fight, and uh, I think this is good, because, you know, Rustam, man, he, he's been in UFC for a few fights, uh, three fights, and he's, he's, done, he's done well. You know, he's got, he's 17 and 1, and uh, if you saw his first fight at the Ultimate Finale, 16, uh, he picks this guy up and, and he suplexes him and, and, and punches him in a really nasty, nice knockout. So that's one you might want to check out at uh, the Ultimate Fighter number 16 finale. I'm sure they might put that one back up. But uh, he just beat Jorge Masvidal at UFC Fight Night 31, and uh, a lot of people didn't think that would happen. So, you know, he's getting to fight Benson Henderson next. So this guy's had good luck, you know. Three fights, three wins in a row. Um... You know, two guys you don't really know, and then he fought Masvidal, now he's getting Benson Henderson. So, I think the luck is on this guy's side. And uh, Benson Henderson, Mr. Smooth Henderson, just beat Josh Thompson um, by split decision. And uh, always squeaks through these split decisions, you know what I mean? Uh, he's been doing it for so long. And although he lost his belt and his name, his title, to Anthony Pettis by submission, in the first round, uh, he's won so much, you know, before that. He, he's won so many fights. Back in back to UFC 129, uh, he's took on the creme de the creme. Frankie Edgar, Clay Guida, Gilbert Melendez, Nate Diaz, Jim Miller, Josh Thompson, all of them, you know. And the only guy who really went by him was uh, Anthony Pettis, who beat him two in a row. And, uh, you know, he must have just made a mistake there on the floor. I'm sure Benson Henderson's kicking himself, you know, in the butt. Uh, for that happening. He did look a lot skinnier, too, in that fight. But uh, I want to know your opinions on Rustam. Have you seen him fight? How do you think he matches up with Benson Henderson? Do you think he's really the elite uh, at 155? Somebody must think he is because he's getting this fight. So, you know, this is going to be good for the, for the Russian fans and uh, good for the UFC. You know, I think it's really nice to see a, a Russian guy get up there, you know. And, and I haven't seen him once since Fedor. So, this is good. Anyway, guys, I'm going to pick Benson Henderson here, um, but I hope Rustam takes his head off. Um, I just picture Benson squeaking by again and, and just ruining the career of Rustam Kabalov in a lot of ways. But uh, I want to know your opinions. Do you think Rustam could do it? Do you think Kabalov could do it? Do you think this guy's that good? Uh, and did you see that suplex that he did back in his first fight? Anyway, uh, I'm out, but uh, anyone in Albuquerque, you got to go to this fight because... They're not coming back for a while, you know what I mean? At least a year, if not five. Go to this fight. Buy it. Peace out, guys.